Oh, come on, Argo. What do you think? What do you think? You ready for a walk? Are you ready for a walk? Are you ready for a walk? Well, we gotta get your coat on. Okay. Oh. Someone's excited. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are you excited? It's pretty warm out, so I think we can get away with this one. Well, are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Are you ready? <laughs> okay, what about you guys? It's been a little bit. I think it's time to show you around a little bit. Since it's so bright and sunny out today, and it's February 7th. <laughs> so let's go for a walk. Um, yeah, that, that way. But I gotta get you first. <laughs> he wasn't quite paying attention. I guess you don't have the best view here. But uh, like the temporary structure they built, I guess above the locks, <laughs> they're building one here below the lock. Of course, this is so they can work on the new lock. Um, protected from the elements, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's heated as well. So, well, it's been so warm <laughs> as of late, although I'm not entirely convinced that winter is done with us. So, that's kind of neat, along with all these containers stacked up out there. It's kind of interesting as well. Hmm. Makes you wonder. And then over here. Maybe you can see there is, well, that's the fountain. Of course, it's off in the winter. But uh, that's it. As you can obviously see, we are not rich in the snow department. Not at all. It's kind of weird, right? It's kind of weird. But we're going to keep walking on to the next little bit. The uh, Museum Ship Valley Camp. Well, shed a little excitement and not, uh, not in a good way. So uh, yeah, we'll be there next. Well, you can see there's not much snow here. <laughs> In the first glance, all appears well here with the valley camp. But if we come around here, you probably see there's some caution tape. And, uh, yeah. One of the posts is gone. The sign is a little mangled. That's because someone uh, is driving. Uh, or goes right under foot here. Oh, geez, dog. And uh, didn't turn. And they hit the curb, knocked that out, flipped over on their cab and ended up down there. In fact, if I come over here and zoom in, you can probably see broken glass down there. But uh, the valley camp really isn't uh, None too worse for wear. I'll have to look and see. I don't believe 
that paint damage was caused by this. Could be wrong. Um, and if we come to the side here, it pretty much hit the, uh, the bow and landed down there. There's really no damage. So that's good. And it actually was uh, kind of lucky it happened in the winter because it's hard to say I should look at the pictures again but you can see where the water line would normally be and let me brighten this up just a touch and so their cab could have been underwater which would have made this a very different um, type of emergency. So, so yeah, that's the uh, little bit of excitement in the valley camp. And as I pan over here, and now it's really bright. Again, you can tell we don't have much in the snow department. Argo's trying to trip me up. Last year there was this, there was so much snow out here and down in that parking lot too that it just, like walking <laughs> was a whole lot of work. And it wasn't like hard enough to walk on because Argo and I did that. We walked down there and walked all the way up to the road up there. That was that was a bit of work. So <laughs> what a different winter. What a different winter this is. So I think I'm going to end this over there at the bridge. I think we're just going to go check that out and that's where we'll kind of wrap this up. So I'll be right back. All right, here we are at the bridge. Not that there's any like big updates or anything at the bridge. <laughs> I just thought it'd be a, yeah, a little different spot, a little different scenery. So, it's still weird how light it is. You kind of get used to it being dark so early. And, uh, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I quite enjoy it. <laughs> and one thing that's, as I've mentioned so many times, I really appreciate how much clean water there is here. Where I moved from, there was a lake, but the water was, well, not clean. <laughs> not clear, at least. So I've really come to appreciate it, especially when you can, I don't know if you can see down in there, but you can see some of the wood. There we go. Underwater. So those are from when they uh, dug out this canal for the power plant here. And it pretty much lines the whole length. I don't know if you can really see it. It goes down there as well. So that's kind of neat. And this is also a really popular spot for fishing, um, like right here, namely. And I think because the water makes the bend here, there's a little low pressure area. And so oftentimes you'll see people fishing right here. That's kind of neat. So now I got to Turn it back down a bit. <laughs> Always playing the dance. 
And then we'll point it back kind of towards the city here. You can see the Tower of History. The Valley Camp. We were just that. There. Just keeps up. This grass might be greening up. <laughs> uh, we have rain in the forecast, about a half inch of it for I think Thursday, Friday. And then I have uh, been hearing rumors it's supposed to cool down, so we will see uh, what that holds in store for us, of course. So I think that's probably enough rambling. What do you think, dog? I'm going to continue with the walk. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to try to be better about being in front of the camera more, even though it feels really weird. So that's going to do it. I'm going to wrap this up. So thanks for joining me here in the Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. A lovely winter, spring evening. <laughs> Take care, Argo, and I'll be back. He's trying to run away. Won't we, dog? We'll be back. Oh, oh gosh. There we go. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye.